Welcome to another edition of Closer to Home Small Business Spotlight. A little bit of a different spin today on small businesses in the Park Ridge and surrounding areas. I'm sitting with Beth Terpstra here at Maine South High School uh, as she has put together a curriculum and a program that is bringing small businesses in to help the students here at Maine South. So I appreciate you taking time. How are you? I'm good, Paul. Thank you so good. much for having me. Good. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, Tell me a little bit about your background. How long have you been at Maine South and how did you kind of come into this idea and this curriculum? So this is my eighth year here in the Maine Township District and I spent three years teaching at Trinity High School in River Forest before that. Okay. Education is actually my third degree. So I have a, a master's in integrated marketing communications from Roosevelt, which is how I ended up teaching business courses okay. um, and particularly the marketing, digital marketing aspects as well. Um, so that's kind of where that all came in. I had been doing some internships with some of the sports teams in the Chicago area, an internship with Edelman Public Relations, um, and so I have a little bit of background in the field okay. before doing this. Um, and what really kind of led me to doing this program was I had done it at Trinity um, before I came here, and also just the idea that it really helps the students kind of connect with what they're doing when they have that business element where there's people coming in and they get the chance, the opportunity to see their uh, their work in a real world capacity. Right. Kind of a, re yeah, that real world experience yeah. of it's a real business coming in right. that I'm working with. Yeah, and okay. so then they can hear feedback and get things from people outside of just the classroom, um, which I think sometimes can be very impactful for them because they hear their teachers all the time but they're not necessarily hearing people that are in it or people that um, you know can give them feedback on on their thoughts and ideas right. in a different in a different light. Okay, all right. And how have you seen in, in, uh, with some? Of the, well, actually, let's start. What are some of the businesses that have come in? Wow. And, so and this is this is we figured out this is our Six, sixth year seven. already, and yeah. obviously a little blip with COVID. But um, we've had a lot of great businesses locally. Um, we had. You <laughs> were one of our first ones, right. and we worked with the Chamber of Commerce itself. We worked with um, T. Lula. We've worked with Pat Reardon Insurance Group. We've worked with um, the Park Ridge Neighbors Magazine. We've worked right. with Robin Coretta's a consulting business. We worked with Lisa K. Photography. Let us organize. I know I'm forgetting some, right. so but, so but just all, age. all. Oh, Amina Grace Memorial Fund. So some right. nonprofit. Just all, all over the the. The gamut. <laughs> and what what are some of the things you've seen from an application standpoint as you go through the class that not only the students are picking up and going, oh, but even the businesses, I'm assuming there's a takeaway for almost every business. Yeah, I think one of the good things for the students is they're teenagers, so they're very used to that business to consumer marketing element. Right. But a lot of these are not business to consumer, they're business to business, or like I said, a nonprofit, or they're not products, their services. And so the students have had to sort of think about how some of these things are different than the things that they're used to seeing. Um, and the students that are interested and have this desire to study business, they have a chance to start to build like a portfolio and things to speak of in internship interviews sure. and things of that nature. And then I think from the business perspective, from what I've heard is you know, they get a fresh take or a younger take on things that they maybe haven't thought of for a while. Um, like one business, the kids need to analyze the mission statement and that person was like, I didn't even, re I didn't even realize I didn't have a mission statement until then. And again, nothing that's gonna tank their business, obviously they're right. successful, but just new ways to think of, of things. Well, and, and I'll admit, I mean, I, I walked away with something as well, just because there are things where, and usually there's a point where everybody that I've talked to has gone, yeah, I kind of knew I needed to get there, <laughs> <laughs> but now it kind of makes it very yeah. real at that point. <laughs> so, no, that's terrific, and I know you've got uh, classes again going this, this semester as well, so um, I'm, I'm glad it's been a success for them and, and for you hopefully as well, too. So. Yeah, it's been really um, interesting and fun to interact with people that are in the community um, and bring bring them in so they can see what we do here as well. Okay. So, anything else you want, either I mean, students and or businesses that may catch this uh, to, to know about the program or you know, well, your goals? Well, we're always welcome to, <laughs> to have new businesses. Um, so if you're interested, um, that's one thing. And then two, I think um, 
just this idea where what you're doing and what you're learning in school is applicable, even if it feels not. Like there's right. always ways that you're going to be utilizing these things and things that are applicable outside of just our four walls here at Maine South. Okay. So. Well, that's helpful. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank appreciate you so much. Too, so. Yeah, it's been great. Thank you for helping us get it started. And thanks Absolutely. to the Chamber of Commerce for their their members being Absolutely. the ones that work with us. So Absolutely. So uh, if you have additional questions about this program, you can certainly reach out to Maine South, to Beth, or to myself. If you have any questions about real estate, uh, if I can be of assistance on the buying and selling end, don't hesitate to reach out. I'm always happy to help. And remember, when you work with Paul, you're closer to home.